Welcome back to Towson Sports Weekly. The softball team traveled to the University of Maryland this week to face the Terps in a doubleheader. The Tigers came from behind in the early game when senior Amy Rosa blasted the ball out of the park for her 10th home run of the season. This home run tied the school record for most home runs in a season by a player. A few batters later, freshman Megan Clark singled in the game-winning run in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Tigers would win the game 4-3. But the Terps bounced back in the nightcap game, defeating the Tigers 12-3. The Terps jumped out in the first inning with a 5-0 lead and didn't look back. Chardé Stewart led the Terps going 3-4 for four with a home run and three RBIs. The Tigers take on UNC Wilmington this weekend in an important CAA series. Do you know what we haven't done in a while? What haven't we done in a while, Simon? We have not played Factor Fiction in a long time. Yeah, because there's some things you haven't done in a while that I, I've done recently, and there's some, you know, some things like that. Like, I'm not going like, to call those out. Like bathing? Nah, the FCC would kill me. <laughs> anyway, you ready? Let's, let's do this Factor All Fiction. Right, All right, DA. How about we'll start you off. Factor <laughs> Fiction. Sorry, the men's lacrosse coach, Tony Seaman, will be fired. The men's team need their seamen. They cannot afford to lose seamen in this situation. I mean, he's a great coach. He's quality with what he does. He's, he's been there for a long time. And I tell you what, seamen has been a pillar of the Towson lacrosse community for the longest time. I mean, when, you look at, when you look at what Towson has been able to do since they got seamen and what they've been able to do beyond that. <laughs> anyway. Aside from, oh, you meant to do that last aside from immaturity, Tony Seaman, the men's lacrosse coach, is who I'm referring to here. And when you talk about what he's been able to do since he's come to Towson, they're playing the top teams in the country. They are amongst the top teams in the country. And they have a couple of bad years. But if you look at it, the basketball team, we're playing the top teams in the country. We're yeah. ranked every single year. We wouldn't be talking about Can Kennedy. No. So there's no reason to, to talk about firing Seaman any, at any point in time. There's no reason to fire Seaman. It, it's just not. One bad season after yeah. several, several years yeah. of just impeccable record. I mean, talking of firing semen is blasphemy. Okay, we just got the cue from our VP of program to cut <laughs> that out. Tony Seaman, people. Tony Seaman. All right. It's your turn, DA. Well, Simon, the softball team, fact or fiction, the softball team will make the CAA championship I and win the CAA championship. say fact. The softball wow. team is hands down the most improved team this year. If you talk about last year, was the first time ever in the past 30 years before that that the softball team had an even record as they finished just below 500. And now they have one of the best records of all Towson Spring Sports, 33 and 24 overall and 9 and 8 in conference play. Towson can win this CAA championship if they stay in it with the big guns of this conference, if they stay in it with the Old Dominions, with the George Masons, and don't lose track of what they're doing. If they can hold on to University of Maryland Terrapins, they can take care of some of these CAA teams. Well, here's the problem, Simon, and this is why I'm going to go fiction on this. The Tigers are right now sitting fifth in the CAA, which is a half a game behind Drexel, a team that just swept the Tigers in three games a couple of weeks ago. Here's the biggest problem, a couple of days ago. Here's the biggest problem for this team. They have a two-game series left. Drexel has a two-game series left. One of them is getting in, and one of them is not getting in. Drexel is playing one of the worst teams in the CAA in Georgia State. Or, I'm sorry, Drexel is playing one of the best teams in the CAA in Georgia State, who's ranked second in the conference, while is playing one of the worst teams, if not the worst team in CA, in UNC Wilmington. If they can get that sweep and Drexel loses one of those games, Drexel's out. But then again, Drexel knows the circumstances. They're in the driver's seat. And if I'm Towson, I do not want to be where I'm at right now. And that's half a game behind Drexel with just two games left. Can they get in? Yes. Will they get in? I think they will. They will lose in the first round because they haven't shown they can handle some of the top two teams in the CA. All right. We'll see how this plays out. Well, speaking of teams with disappointing records, the football team, Fact or fiction, DA, will they rebound after last year's 3-8 and eight season? Well, typically when you talk rebounding teams, you have to look at what it takes to be a rebounding team. And most rebounding teams are only bad the previous year because of uncontrollable circumstances that previous year. And the football team surely had that with Tommy Bro going out with injury, Hakeem Moore, Leon Stevenson. They were completely destroyed up front. All their halfbacks were done at some point in the season. They had no full strength, and Sean Schaefer did not have the weapons to work with. Well, all those guys, with the exception of the seniors, are back. Tommy Bro's back. Hakeem Moore is back. Matt Castor got a year better, a year older. The entire team is going to be a lot better this year offensively because of the fact that they get players back off of injury. Yes, you lose some key guys defensively, especially 
especially in the linebacking core. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, you're, there were guys who weren't able to get playing time. There were quality linebackers. And anytime you're a linebacker and you're looking for somewhere to go, you go to that 3-4 scheme because that's mm -hmm. where you're going to rack up the numbers. So it's pretty easy to recruit talented linebackers. Watch out for Miguel Dean. I think Miguel Dean is going to be a sleeper. He's going to start with this team. He's going to be one of their top linebackers. He's very aggressive. Every time I talk to Coach Combs, he rants and raves about this guy. Trust me, Miguel Dean is, a, is the real deal, and he will be a great addition and a great help to kind of fill that void for a little bit of John Webb, as long as Dante Blakely will take John Webb's spot as well. I think both of them will do a fantastic job. And that inside linebacking core looks to be pretty treacherous here with so Josh Root, Alex Butt yep. clogging up that middle. But one thing that really helps this Tigers offense is that offensive line. Last yep. season, you saw nine different guys, yep. nine guys start in the front five. And that led to a lot of incontinuity. That led to a lot of different schemes not being able to work. And that also led to Towson giving up the most sacks in the CAA, almost 40 sacks for over 260 yards. Towson's offense will be much improved this year if they stay healthy. And if not, they have so much depth now with nine guys, count them, DA, nine, nine out of wow. five. Yep. That's all you need in order to protect Sean Schaefer, who's a mere 540 yards away from being Towson's all-time leading career passer. If they can stay consistent and replace all those starters lost in the defense, then I agree with you, DA. Fact, they can rebound after that 3-8 and eight season. There you go. Well, the last and final fact or fiction question, the women's look fact or fiction, the women's lacrosse team will win the CAA tournament. We asked Lauren earlier. She didn't give us a definite answer. Simon, fact or fiction, they will win the CAA tournament. Fiction. Wow. Towson will win the first round against George Mason. They will come out firing, shooting strong. They have an amazing offense in Brodsky with Maggie McNamara. These seniors are hungry for a championship. They will contain George Mason, but that will be the problem. Towson's defense is not strong enough as a whole to be able to survive past that first round. They will get past it just because of that offense, but that offense can only take you so far. If you're a one-dimensional team that does not prove very well in tournament play, they will win that first round. They will qualify for NCAA, but they will not win either championship. See, Simon, I don't know how you did this. But you managed to allow me to agree with you on fiction and yet completely disagree with you. I don't know how you did that. They will Explain. not get by George Mason. There's no way they get by George Mason. I don't see it happening. And if they do somehow get by George Mason, they're a lock to win the CAA. So I completely disagree. If they get by Mason, they're in. So if you're right about that, they win the CAA championship. If you're wrong about that, which I think you are, and they lose to George Mason, they won't. And they've already lost to George Mason at home this year. George Mason's the only other ranked team in CAA, ranked 13th in the country. I don't see it happening. Towson's ranked 18th, but I don't see George Mason win. That was some harsh words, man. It was harsh words. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, nah, that's why this is my favorite segment. We'll see go. how this all it's plays all out. Well, our second, well, my, one of my also favorite segments of this show, the record recap to finish off. Yep. Okay, we'll start off with men's lacks, three and three overall, not five and nine, or sorry, five and nine overall, three and three in conference play. There you go, on the women's lacrosse team, five and two in CAA play, 11 and five overall. The baseball team is nine and 12 in the CAA, 23 and 21 overall. And the softball team, nine and eight in conference, 33 and 24 overall. And the tennis team is five and four. 14 overall. Now, Wait, men's tennis? We have a men's tennis team? No, that must be the women's tennis team. Okay, yeah. Because it says men's tennis and tennis. And last I checked, Title IX wiped out that whole men's tennis True. Team. But last time I checked, weren't they 4-0 to start the season? Mm, yes, and then they seem to have gone 1-14 since that 4-0 mark. And we point that out every week, Simon. I mean, you're starting to make me look bad here. That's pretty bad. That's well, I, if, if it helps, I point it out on the weeks that you weren't here either. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Simon. Okay. That's why well, you're the best. Okay, well, that's all the time we have this week. <laughs> I'm Simon Haptomerium, along with DA Daniel Abraham. Thank you very much, Towson. We'll see you next week. Stay cool, Towson. And the rolling credits.